Hello, good day and a good hi. In this video, I will show to you how I incorporate the different RPMS indicators for a classroom observation. This quarter two, the classroom observable indicators are the following. Applied knowledge of content within the Lacuna's curriculum teaching areas. Use a range of teaching strategies that enhance the learner achievement and literacy and numeracy skills. Apply a range of teaching strategies to the fall of critical and creative thinking as well as higher order thinking skills. Back for master teachers, this is no longer a requirement. Next is Indicator number seven established a learner-centered culture by using teaching strategies that respond to learning interesting, cultural, socioeconomic, and religious backgrounds. Adopted and used culturally appropriate teaching strategies to address the needs of learners from indigenous groups. And lastly, indicator number nine used strategies for providing timely accurate and constructive feedback to improve learner performance. I will discuss to you a topic from Grade 7 Physical Education through the PowerPoint presentation. This is all about Global Sport Badminton. Watch this video for you to see where I incorporated the various indicators in this lesson. Our learning competency describes the nature and background of the sports. And for our specific objectives, trace the history of badminton. We show and level the playing part of badminton and appreciate the importance of learning the double sports in obtaining a healthy lifestyle. Let's start with reviewing our previous lesson in PE. This is all about the fifth principle. Identify the following item according to the basic training principles. Place them to its appropriate column. Is that a frequency? Is it intensity? Is it time or type? Here are the different items that you have to input on the table. Let's check if you got it right. For frequency, we have Monday, weekly, two times a day, and three times a week. Because this refers to how often you perform such activity. Intensity are the following. Example is during the repetition, five sets or five kilometers, because intensity refers to how hard can you execute or you perform the activity. The time or the includes 10 minutes, one hour, 30 minutes, because this refers to how long you are going to perform such activity. And type Okay, are referring to what kind of activities you are going to take in. Push up, jogging, karyuka, yoga, and walking are example. Now, what are the other activities that may contribute to your fitness or to one's fitness? Be guided with the fit principle. Then it's about time to move on to our next lesson. But before that, let's subvert this activity as a jump start to our new lesson. The activity is entitled Search and Loop. I will group the class into four. Each group will be given a printed worksheet in a pen to use the, in the activity. You are going to search and then loop the words from the badminton word bank. You may do that in horizontal vertical or diagonally. After of finding all the words, the word bank, you have to post your worksheet on the board for only five minutes. The first group to finish wins. Are you now ready? We have backhand. 
another, we have match. Another word is shuttlecock. Another word is handshake. Another word is doubles. Another word is mixed. Another word is racket. We also have singles. Another is forehand. We also have court. And lastly, net. Did you find all the correct word? Now, how did you find the activity? Was it easy for you to find the words? Are you familiar with those words? In what particular sports these words are used? Very good. Okay, these words belong to badminton. As we go over with our lesson, let us have this activity entitled Fat or Love. Are you ready? How to play? There will be a statement. And after reading this statement, you have 5 seconds to decide if the statement is fat for a true answer or bluff for a false answer. Take notes of your answer as we incorporate discussion and game. So this time, while answering on the activity, we are now also discussing concepts about badminton. Are you ready? Then let's start with this item number one. In 17th century, Badminton is believed to have originated from the game Puna. Is it a fact or bluff? What's your answer? Yes, that is correct. It is a fact. Another item. It was only in 1992 Barcelona Olympics when the game became an Olympic sport. What's your answer? Yes, it is a fact. The game badminton was known as Battledore and Shadowcock in British India. Is it fact or bluff? Yes, it is a fact. Let us discuss the history of badminton. In 17th century, badminton is believed to have originated from the game Puna that was played by English army officers stationed in a small town in India. At this point, badminton was just a game played for fun. It was known as battle door and shuttle cup in British India instead of badminton. Battledore and Shuttlecock was then brought back to England in 1870 when the Duke of Beaufort held a long party in his country place. Interestingly, the house was called Badminton and was then introduced to the upper class community. It was only in 1992 Barcelona Olympics when the game became an Olympic sport. Did you get it, Tess? So the first three questions are referring to the history of badminton. Let's proceed to the next item. Number four. The aim of the game is to score points by landing the shuttle cup on the opponent's court. Is it a fact or a bluff? Fact. Very good. The game was brought to England in 1970. That is love. Yeah. Another item, matches for badminton are played by team. Bluff also. And another item. The game is governed by the, by the Badminton World Foundation. Mm -hmm. 
bluff. So let's discuss why your answers on the on the items are facts or bluff. So you are now going to discuss nature of badminton. The aim of the game is to score points by landing the shuttlecock in the opponent's court. Then what are the matches for badminton? This includes singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. So there is no team in badminton. So that is why, okay, on the uh, question a while ago, okay, the answer is a bluff. The court used for singles and doubles vary in terms of length and width. The singles court is slightly narrower but longer than the doubles court. This game is governed by the Badminton World Federation or BWF. It was mentioned a while ago on the activity that the uh, Badminton is governed by the Badminton World Foundation. So it was wrong because EF stands for Federation. So the game Badminton is governed by Badminton World Federation or BWF. Let's continue. The height of the net is 1.55 meter from the ground. Is it fact or bluff? Correct, that is fact. Here is the facilities and equipment used in the game badminton. First is the net. So the net height is 1.55 meter. Then the length of the cord, here is the length of the cord, and then the width of the cord is 6.1 meter. Okay. Another quick the shuttlecock and rocket. Yes, yeah, so we have here we have here the illustration of the shadow pack and the rocket. Okay, in each uh, in each equipment, there is a certain part okay, for shadow cock and then the rocket, the head, the string bed, the heart or throat, the free, the shaft, the cone, the head of grip, and the butt cock. That is for the rocket. So well, for the shadow cat, we have the flexible structure, hard and touch base man, the beer leader. Here is the soft part of the shadow cat. Then the hard part of the shadow cat is here also. We will also have the special conical shape, inserted part, the cork base of different soft walls. So these are the facilities and equipment in the game badminton. Let's go. Forehand is also known as handshake in Korean. Is it fact or bluff? The correct answer is fat. Another question. Backhand is used to hit the shadow at the non-dominant side of the body. Is it fat or bluff? Fat. Yes, that is also correct. Yes, we have here the kinds of grip. The forehand grip is also known as handshake grip. The tamp and pointing fingers wrapped around the handle, forming a letter V, while the rest of the fingers are spread, supporting the bottom part of the handle. The grip or this grip is used to hit the shadow at the dominant side of the body and sometimes at the dominant at the non-dominant side of her head. Another type of grip is the backhand grip. Backhand grip is used to hit the shuttle on the non-dominant side of the body. From the forehand grip position, the fingers are moved slightly to place the temp freezing flat on the flat side of the hand, while the rest of the fingers are positioned together. The grip adds power to the strokes or heats since usually the non-dominant side of the player is the weaker hitting side. So, let's have this time a video. 
I am going to let you watch the video and take the notes the seven benefits of playing badminton. All right, so what are the different benefits of playing badminton? The first one improves muscle strength. Another improves heart functioning. The third one helps reduce stress. Then we also have improves flexibility, boosts your metabolism rate, strengthens your bone, and improves mental agility. Did you find or did you get all the seven benefits? Did you? Did you know already the seven benefits of playing badminton? So let's move further. This time we will have an activity with a short band paper or an A4 band paper, draw and label a badminton court with its correct dimensions. After learning facts and history about badminton, how do you think this sport contributes to one's fitness? Aside from the previous mention, give at least three benefits of engaging dual sports like badminton. Now that you know already the facts about badminton, so it says your knowledge about our lesson for today through this short quiz. The true or false. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Number one, in the 17th century, badminton is believed to have originated from the game Puna. Number two, it was only in 1992 Barcelona Olympics when the game became an Olympic sport. Number three, the game is governed by the Badminton World Foundation. Number four, the game badminton was known as Battle Door and Shuttlecock in British India. Number five, the aim of the game badminton is to score points by landing the Shuttlecock in the opponent's court. Number six, the game was brought to England in 1970. Number seven, the height of the net is 1.55 meter from the ground. Number eight, forehand is also known as handshake grade. Nine, matches for badminton are played by team. And lastly, back hand is used to hit the shuttle at the non-dominant side of the of the bat. Let's check your answers. First is, or number one is, true. Number two, true. Number three, false. Why false? Because Badminton World Federation is the governing body of Badminton. Number four, true. Number five, true. Number six, six is false. Number seven, true. Number eight, true. Number nine, false at number 10 true as for your assignments on your notebook list down the rules of badminton at least five rules that you know about badminton